You say, I'm going to be honest, I get tired of believers looking like they are just barely making it through life. You know what I'm talking about. It's that look of stress or that look of drama. It's the heavy sighs and the rolling of the eyes. This sends a message that is opposite of the glory of That's God. That's right. His glory so is good. peace, but our faces speak stress and angst and frustration. Yeah. His glory speaks love, but our faces speak anger. His glory speaks patience, but our faces speak irritation and, toler and intolerance. Some even would say, <laughs> some even have what have been uh, termed as RBF. And I love how you say, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't, wanna, I didn't wanna put a cuss word in my book. <laughs> yeah, right, you're like, look it up. <laughs> it was great. And then you even say this, and I wrote this even specifically in my phone and you say, I'm pretty sure Jesus didn't have an RBF. No. And that's kind of the same thing you're kind of talking about when you're having these strongholds and these things that are, you know, you're not willing to move past just salvation. Yeah. You're not willing to get to that meat mm -hmm. of like what the character looks like mm -hmm. and you're not willing to unravel and unpack the things that are holding you back yeah. from, from his character mm -hmm. and from his further glory and from his further anointing on your life and God actually mm -hmm. using you. Because like you're saying, if you have all those things and you're feeling that kind of way, who's going to want to talk to you yes, about exactly Christ? exactly right. Who's going to get like impressed that like, oh, Christ is working on that person mm -hmm. or I do see the fruit. Mm -hmm. and that's a big one. I feel like when you're having that moment of being able to, uh, you know, come off as the character of Christ, that shows the fruit on your life, which is attractive to people. It makes yeah. them say, hey, he's different. And the Bible mm -hmm. talks about that, you know, being different. Yeah. I mean, the Bible does say, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. And we as believers aren't giving people much to taste and see. Yeah. We got foul mouths. We got foul facial expressions. We got foul communications. We're gossiping about our neighbor, complaining about our husband, fussing about our children, complaining about our finances, talking about our president. I mean, you you name it, and and it's like, man, we're not all we're given is bitter, sour fruit for people to taste. And the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Wow. So you got to ask yourself, man, what is the fruit that I'm putting off in my life? And are people around me going, man, I want to get me some more of that. Right. I want to hang out with her a little bit more. I don't know what it is about her, but there's something she's got that I want. That I love how I feel when I'm around her. That's how I feel when I'm with you. Yeah. Really, um, that's what genuinely. I want for people. I want them to walk away going, man, I feel encouraged. Like I want to go to coffee with you. Yeah. This hour wasn't long enough. Right. And that's the spirit. That's how it should be. We want to linger in the spirit. And when we become the carriers of that presence, people want to linger in our presence because they sense the presence of God on us and they want that. Because that's what we're designed for.